Hi, I'm Ray. And I'm Saren. We're your Spider Baby hosts from To Know Her Is To Fear Her, a Spider Woman podcast, as well as proud members of The Collective. You're listening to Capes and Lunatics Sidekicks. Enjoy the show! Hi, this is Phil, and I'm here to make sure you know all about the Capes and Lunatics Patreon. Don't miss out on all new episodes of Wade's World, Boob Windows and Long Boxes, our hard R movie reviews, and so much more, all completely uncensored. Access starts for as little as $1 a month, full videos when you pledge $3 a month. Check us out at the link in all of our show notes, or just go straight to patreon.com slash capesandlunatics. Hope to see you there. This is Luca Parrott, and you're listening to the Capes and Lunatics Sidekicks podcast. I love Batman. Poor Ray. Put it down to the science now. <laughs> anyway. Just make it one complete intro. Just splice it together. Oh, I should, I know. <laughs> I love Batman. Poor Ray. Anyway, welcome back to another episode of We Are the Night. The Batman Podcast. Yeah, Facebook. Yeah, number nine. Anyway, I am Phil. Join me as always. It is. Hey y'all, it is Wolf Hellfire again. A former criminal who stretches herself around the law. I've never been caught. Yeah, stretch <laughs> <not. laughs> Technically, you're never a criminal if you don't get caught. Just ask lawyers and politicians. Hey-o. All right, so yes, today we're covering something a, a little different. Not a Batman. Well, Batman's in it, but not a, doesn't have his name on it. It's JLA number 65. So close. But that's okay. That's what Ultimate Spider Cast is for. <laughs> but the title of this issue is interesting. <laughs> Bouncing Baby Boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. But yes, this is from June 2002. Uh, writer Joe Kelly, so. Yeah. That was interesting, because, like, up until, like, the, like, JLA, like, I had read a little bit of Plastic Man, but I wasn't, like, I was like, eh, you know, I wasn't too excited. But, I mean, I don't know, it kind of grew on me, especially during the Joe Kelly run. Like, I'm just saying, we all know that Elongated Man on The Flash, for all intent and purposes, is supposed to be Plastic Man. And that's what infuriates me the most, and why that character had to go. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't want it to go down like that, but... Could they ever do that now? It's just like, who? Who? Are, is that you, Ralph? No, it is I. Plastic Man. Plastic Man. <laughs> it is me, Eel. <laughs> I kind of like this kooky kind of take on it because yeah. it is a kooky character. Not quite ambush bug levels with kooky, but. And again, it's like it, Joe Kelly did Deadpool for the longest time. So it's like he kind of knows humor. Yeah, I was going to say that is the saving grace because, you know, you can't be serious with Plastic Man. <laughs> exactly. Hey-o. Hey-o. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's, it's Plastic Man. So, uh. <laughs> Exactly. But I like the cover. It's kind of hilarious. Oh, yeah. The dark nut strikes again. <laughs> it's just like if it was issue 69, that would have been perfect. Yeah, because it looks like Batman's perching on a gargoyle, but the gargoyle is uh, plastic. <laughs> Shh! Nobody tell Bruce! Oh, my. <laughs> Um, I kind of like um like how we are like getting glimpses of it in the little red part of the panel and stuff. I, it's very stylistic, very highly stylized, and I, I like it. Uh, oh, and uh, thank you. Uh, yes, the cover was also done by the interior artist. Yeah, Don't pen- you love it when that happens? I do. No bait and switch. <laughs> <laughs> Penciler Doug M- Mank, uh, inker Tom Nagayan, and colorist Dave David Barron. Letters Ken Lopez, editor Dan Raspler, and Stephen Wacker. Oh man, the early 2000s of DC was a grab bag, wasn't it? <laughs> I know, Wacker would get over to DC, so. Yeah. That's right, kids. Oh, and shout out to the Blink 182 reference, which would have been perfect if we were if this was dropping on July 2nd, by the way, because that's Blink 182 day, 182 days. Halfway point. <laughs> this will be in July, but yes, not. Uh, I think we're like a week or two late. Uh Next time. We'll Why didn't you time. tell me? <laughs> I totally 
actually forgot the Bleep uh, 182 reference was so in here, I. so I was rereading it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Nobody likes you when you're 23. <laughs> no, wait, that's the wrong one. That's somebody else, right? No, I don't know. It's been a while. All pop punk blends together. <laughs> Damn it. Now when I'm in the car this weekend, I'm going to be like, put on Blink-182. <laughs> It was our music. It's time. It was our music. Um, I like the the art in this, especially the ladies. Oh yes. It's like it's like thick but not too thick. Oh my. <laughs> thick with one C and maybe a Q. <laughs> oh my. Uh but yeah, it's a, but it's uh what do we get any um women except for just uh Eel's ex? Just his ex. Okay. Oh, so you like her thickness. I see. <laughs> exactly. Um, I like the use of, like, um, the way that they don't put too much in a panel. They just let things, like, come into razor, laser focus, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, the whales especially. Like, I thought that that was really cool how they did that. Oh, yeah. I'm just pulling up the issue. Now, I like the red. It's just, like, the, the red backdrop is really nice. All right. I have a... Do you want to do synopsis or do you want to go through that? Just go through this. Up to you. If you, there's actually a synopsis, wait a minute. There's a synopsis for this. I Is it like a, 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 a two sentences long? <laughs> no, um, actually, no. I think it's actually a little longer than that. Okay, let's do it then. All right, hold on. But I was just gonna say, I just want to mention that first page because, oh my god, I mean, well, this is it, kind of topical at this point, you know, Batman checking out those goons, and he's, all of a sudden you just see Plastic Man saying, uh. Hey there, big boy, show me your Batmobile, I'll show you my Batcave. It's like, whoa! That's nasty stuff, Harvey. <laughs> whoa! Oh, it's so Rob! It's like almost 20 years before, you know, before today, and I was still like... Oh, it's so Rob! <laughs> Rob. <laughs> it's it's still way more subtle than the Deadpool stuff could ever dream of being. Oh, yeah, definitely. All right, uh... So yes, bouncing baby boy. Plastic Man asks Batman to help his ex by scaring her son Luke out of joining a gang. Batman agrees, but begins to grow suspicious when Eel is visibly upset by not knowing how long it had been since he had seen Angel, and then remains silent for seven and a half minutes. <laughs> the confusion is soon cleared up, however, when the boy shapeshifts into a triceratops while wrecking havoc with his gangmates. <laughs> Eel, yes, it's, it's, yes, kids, it's this crazy. Eo admits to having abandoned his 10 year old son and suggests several reasons why he might have done so. He expects Batman to leave, but is told, it's your life, O'Brien. How you mess it up is no business of mine. Yeah, but, he's got other, he's, he's messed up how many, uh, how many Bat kids? I was gonna All say, of them? I was gonna say, is, is that hypocrite able to talk about how to raise a 10 year old? Here, put the, put them in this colorful outfit. <laughs> Yeah, they shouldn't be putting themselves in danger, Eel. They, you, you should be putting them in danger. Uh, but I'm not about to let a 10-year-old meta with more control over your powers than you join a gang. After the Oh, I love it. He's like, um, just real quick, I'm like Beyonce without Destiny Child. So low and oh so pretty. Oh, my. <laughs> Boy, the early 2000s was a wild time. Uh, There's kids born that don't even know about Destiny Child. <laughs> the Wild West, I know. Probably my son, I'm sure. I'm like, Luca, what's that? Child? What's that? So, uh, side note, me and Danielle are definitely going to have to do at least one podcast because back sync is happening. This is not a drill. It is happening, but they need to call JC Chazé. That, that's all that I'll say. I'll tell. <laughs> and moving on. <laughs> I'll tell her, I'm like, there's one rule There's one rule on our podcast, dear, because Lil Hellfire demanded it. <laughs> <laughs> Thus, we're doing Plastic Man. You see what I mean? Exactly. <laughs> Uh, I like the oh when the kid turns into the elephant. Oh, that was cute. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, he points. Batman points out that he could seriously traumatize Luke if Eel insists on having him talk the boy out of gang membership. Batman finds the gang's hideout and corners Luke, intimidating him out of trying to fight. I love how his his, his uh chin literally drops. He's like, <gasps> <laughs> great visual gags. Mm-hmm. This, is what, this is like the reason to read Plastic Man. I think. It gives the artists a real chance to stretch their chops and do something different. Wait, what? The visual gags. The stretch their chops. Oh, <laughs> didn't even mean that. <laughs> Puns, they happen. That's right, especially here. 
Uh, Batman finds the gang. So, yeah, he corners Luke and Timmy. Uh, Luke then says that he knows his father is Plastic Man and asks if his dad knows about him. Batman looks down at his utility belt and says, ahem. <laughs> Otherwise, he like, shakes it. While Luke takes it, uh, which Luke takes as a threat. <laughs> He's like probably trying to say he'll say something, and Luke's just like, "Oh crap!" He's pulling out a bomb. Uh, he's shaking his utility belt at him. Um, somebody, somebody, call the cops. That's not for you, son. <laughs> Catwoman pops out. That's not for you. <laughs> uh, whereupon he starts begging for his life. Batman finishes yelling at Luke, then returns to the tower. He then orders Eel to get off his utility belt and stalks away. As he closes the door, Eel protests. Like Luke, he can change colors, a continuation of an earlier argument. Batman responds, it appears you can. Maybe one day you will. Oh! Burn. Calling him yellow. <laughs> Burn! Yeah. Uh, with that, he leaves. Plastic man with his son's baseball cap. Aww. Aww. And then, of course, we get that uh, one page in the Atlantic Ocean, which, which is set up for uh, the Obsidian Age. Yeah, yeah, we, we won't talk about that. It's but fine. we will on Nightwing News eventually. Poor Kristen. She, I, think she <laughs> picked, I think she picked it. Oh, okay, as long as she picked it, you didn't force it on her. <laughs> as long as this is an Atlantis attack situation, I'm fine with it. <laughs> All right, Lil, so. I like it. It's touching. It's like you feel I know. like they. I really feel like Plastic Man and Batman have a lot in common in person, like personality, like how they kind of shirk responsibility and stuff. Mm-hmm. Batman's a criminal. He just won't admit it. He is a vigilante, and that is illegal. Just saying. I yeah. I mean, I I, I really like this story since I first read it, and then, uh, yeah, it's a way to inject humor into it. It's bat- unexpected too, but like I don't know. I feel like all the Plastic Man stories that I like have Batman in it. So and it's like <laughs> oh we're gonna have to do more JLA eventually yeah even some of that Grant Morrison. we got nothing but time literally kids Grant- nothing but time <laughs> so, especially some of that Grant Morrison stuff oh, yes smoke talk about smoke the doobie ah oh, <laughs> yeah I know man uh, rock rock of ages oh smoke that should doobie. definitely that's like an all hands on deck situation right there oh oh yeah <laughs> that is an excellent story. smoke the doobie. <laughs> Or even just, hi, I'm Prometheus. Hi, I'm Batman. I'm going to kick your butt. <laughs> I've taken down the whole JLA. Why, well, Batman? Exactly. But I just love the visual gags. Look, he's swinging as a spider. Exactly. Just like, it's so and then freaking the, funny. The bat in front of the moon. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. A long, elongated man could never. No, never. <laughs> but yeah, just the visual gags. And he's, as he's, uh, begging Batman. He's like, looks like an angel. <laughs> yeah, this is this is very... If you like Deadpool, I feel like you would like this specific run of JLA. <laughs> and then just the ex, like, giving him a hard time, and then she turns around, and oh, there's Batman. She's like, oh, you got a... Uh, uh, he's like, oh, you're a real hero. You can say it. <laughs> oh, I, I'd like to have a word with you, sir. We, we can debate that. We can debate that like I'm Charlie Esser. <laughs> Oh my! I will tell you how you were wrong. Uh, I know the hip language the kids use these days. I, that, that's all of us on this podcast. Let's not let's not just single Charlie. Oh, we're all old. I, I know. I know. It, we're doing me now. But no, I like the art. It's just such a great this, oh, yeah. this issue specifically is so great. Like the art, the humor, and then like. The touching parts between, like, you know, it's like, hey, Batman, let's not throw stones. <laughs> I mean, again, it's just like with the with the plastic man stuff, you need like a certain art style. And I think the art style works perfect here. Yeah. Great job on the art. Oh, we got some comments. Let me uh... down with the thickness. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Who is that? I have is that Chad. I ha- Yes, that it's is. It's always Chad. That is Chad. Yes, I thought you. Were, I thought I saw on Facebook you were about to pass out, Chad. Yes, Chad says down with the thickness. Uh. And also, I agree. Batman hero, two words that shouldn't coexist. <laughs> and well, I mean, at this point, he's kind of an anti-hero. I feel like that's where they're trying to push him, especially with all the Batman that laughs, uh, the uh, the metal, the dark metal stuff. I just feel. I that- mean, that would be a nice shift in paradigm where he, him, and uh, Superman are truly, truly opposites. You know what I mean? 
I always feel like there's probably at least one or two creators who are probably just like, oh, come on, just let us kill, let have Batman kill one guy. Come on, just one guy. Come on. And that's what the movie showed. People, a lot of people that like Zack Snyder are like, well, yeah, Batman should kind of kill. Just, just science. So, maybe not with a gun, but maybe he should kill. No, he just brands him so someone else can kill him. <laughs> a battering to the throat? I don't know. Ah! <laughs> Yeah, no, I I really enjoy their dynamic. Like I said, I think almost all my favorite Plastic Man stories definitely do have Batman in it. It's just because they bounce off each other so well. Uh, <clears throat> hey oh, <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> Oops, I... 2002? <laughs> this is so 2002, though, because he's like... This is so high school for me. It's so painful. I... 2002, it's so funny just because just all the references. He's like, yeah, yeah, real hero. You can say it. I threw out my pride with my collection of pogs. <laughs> pogs! I still have mine. Wait. They're going to make a comeback. Didn't Bruce kill That's- a lot of ninjas and screw Black Canary while they're... Cor- that was all-star Batman and Robin. Yeah, all-star, we don't... We, we talk about it, but it doesn't count. It's out of, continu- <laughs> it's out of continuity. It's think- so far out of continuity. See, that's what Tyler was talking about on Capes, actually. I, I would love for us to do stuff like that. I mean, he made Dick Grayson... And just make a playground for other people to, like, hey, maybe one day go back and visit. But I don't think anybody's brave enough to go back and visit that. <laughs> he, he made Dick Grayson eat a rat. <laughs> Poor Splinter. <laughs> And they're like, oh, hey, we want Vicky Vale and Laundry in issue one. So, hey, can we get Jim Lee? Uh, Jim Lee. We'll see. We'll see how that pans out. <laughs> if you know, you know. Is he thinking of a change in career, Lothar? I think he might. Oh, my. Or at least company. At least companies. Everybody's abandoning ship. Spill that tea. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. It would, it would make sense. Mm-hmm. Everybody's kind of abandoned. All the rats are abandoning the sinking ship. That's all that I'm saying. I think that would force if like I feel like if a lot of people kind of left DC, that would force DC to uh, reinvigorate itself uh, organically. It wouldn't feel forced because all the old talent would be at Marvel, and so they would have to, you know, innovate and do do different stuff to really keep our attention and our focus because they're all new people. So you have to have that focus on quality, (laughs) not quantity. No. For quality. Bing. They wish. They wish they could get a Maz Manzor approval of quality. <laughs> All right. But yeah, no. I I I think I can't wait to do more Plastic Man and Batman stories. That's all. Oh yeah, I was gonna say we'll do more JLA. I mean, I mean, I think I think that what you said. We need more people. But the Rock of Ages story. That's when they dropped Plastic Man in Justice League, didn't they? Yeah. That's like a live read. That 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 oh. story is so good. It's one of my favorites. Six, what is that? Like six issues? You want to do a six issue live read? Patreon. Oh, just saying. We we're gonna get we're gonna get Ray a run for his money. <laughs> You're the king of the drops. We'll show him. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's a Batman podcast. He'll never hear it. What the f? If we said we're doing a live read, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> He's a Patreon subscriber. He's not gonna hear this. <laughs> we'll um, make Connor make him listen to it. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, homework for, for their podcast. On the bright side, of getting a lot of very talented new artists to work on established titles. Yeah, I we need that. Like, I, I feel that's why they're not really pulling in the kids. Like, everybody seems like so old and well established that they're not worth willing to take risk anymore. Young people, like the young artists, are very hungry to to put their name out there and really like try stuff. You know, try new stuff, stuff that they've been, you know, that they've thought in their heads for the last 10, 15 years. You know, not yeah. somebody that's been working on a book for forty years. No offense, I love all my old guys, but I whoa, time for some. hell, well, I, we know you do. <laughs> I am the old like I, I'm I'm out of that phase because everybody's my age and I'm old now so it doesn't count <laughs> it doesn't count when you're the same age and you're both old now she goes for the young himbos fingers crossed guys hello <laughs> oh um you want to talk any new Batman yeah yeah uh did you read uh Batman Reptilian. <laughs> I, yeah, I wanted to bring it up, but we were out of time on capes. Who is this for? I mean, I'm curious. It's it's a it's 
it's a choice. For all the Garth Enos fans. And there are a lot, thanks to the boys. He definitely has had a resurgence. Yeah. And do you like this art? Oh, it's a choice. Yeah. I mean, it's not too I think if the coloring was a little bit more vivacious... It would uh, do a little more for me, but it seems very demure and daunting. And maybe that's the point. I don't know. I mean, because I know my comic shop guy, he didn't like the art in this. But, uh, I mean, it's not bad for me, but have you ever read, like, Batman Arkham Asylum? Oh, my God. I, yeah. hate, I hate the art in that. I'm just like, what the yeah. hell is going on in this? <laughs> uh, I Like I said, I, I don't really know who this was for. Uh, it's okay. I think Checkmate's the better book to pick up. Just throw that out there oh my she's recommending a pendus over something oh my i think that he's gonna do something very exciting with checkmate the fact that he's Bendis, like paying, Bendis, att- Bendis. paying attention to green green arrow and he hasn't done anything outrageous to green arrow the minute he does something outrageous to green arrow you know he's dead to me but yeah well, i, was, I think he's doing something interesting i think this is not as interesting in light of like you know a uh, metal the metal universe and all those things like i just I think it's more of the whole hum same. Well, I was looking something up last night for the podcast. I think it said, I think Checkmate oh, might only be six issues. Oh, trust me. They're playing the long game on that one. Well, unless they spin something out of it. Yeah, they're definitely. Well, that's Bendis' thing. If you ever notice, he loves to, they, or, they give him the leeway to spin things out. Or unless they spin multiple stuff out of it, like a new Green Arrow book. Uh, that might well they, they have to spin out a new green arrow book eventually so yeah i wonder if anyone else there might be getting the uh you know new uh w- could we get a new lois lane book I, it did really well honestly and they could use more female-led titles and that no offense to wonder woman right now but wonder woman is in a state of disrepair and lois lane it, it's not unprecedented for her to have her own book it was a thing for a very long time people missed it i think the book that they did give us for the modern times was excellent and i think they should bring that team back for sure yeah i mean there's there's a couple you could spin out of there i mean especially with black cat doing so well and Catwoman not doing so well do you know what i mean like they have to have another like you know lead female title prestigious i mean, I mean even if they want to title. give her yeah even if uh, could could if you can't get a lois lane book could you do like a lois lane manhunter book no. No? Nobody wants that. <laughs> and it's Lois Lane or bust. hey <laughs> That's what Superman said. <laughs> whoa! Whoa! <laughs> um, and it's weird, though, about uh, Reptilian specifically, because I I am a general fan of Liam Sharp, so I don't know if this was just at uh, Garth Ennis' direction. And for it to be a $5 book, I, and it just feels like Batman wants to be Swamp Thing. Is that is that just me? I just feel like it's like, ooh, if Batman was Swamp Thing. <laughs> and it's, and again, it's like you were talking about. I think it's just that, hey, hey, it's been a while since we had Garth Enos hat making Batman super brutal. So it's just, you know, because he's just like threatening guys. You know, the rogues would just kill you. I won't let you die. <laughs> I'll just put you in medical debt. That's way. I'll get you an audit. <laughs> uh Oh, Chad said he's like, oh. are you reading Immortal Wonder Woman? I'm not reading that one. Yeah, I I I am not a fan of what they're doing to Wonder Woman lately. Chad, I th- I'm trying to remember. I'm reading the regular Wonder Woman book. I think Becky Cloonan's on that. I think Becky Cloonan's on that too. It's not cohesive. <laughs> she, she's in the after. She was in the afterlife. She basically tore off everyone in Asgard because she accidentally got dropped in Asgard. We don't ship Wonder Woman and Thor. We ship Wonder Woman and Captain America. Oh, no. She, she has a-, a guy for veterans named Steve, okay? We've established this. Oh, she had a lover there, but it wasn't Thor. Ba- Thor is basically an idiot there. Well, he's an idiot in the Marvel Oh, universe. my. Comic-, comic books and movie hashtag fight me. We don't, see- we don't see a Thor TV show. We see a Loki TV show. Just gonna throw that out there. Oh, my. I'm sorry, but he's the worst Hemsworth. Everybody knows it. I can't wait to blow his mind. Oh my! Hashtag Team Liam. Sorry. <laughs> and then I think the well, we got Detective Ten Thirty Eight this week. We did indeed. Oh, did it you? It was it was average. Yeah, it's not bad. Well, I mean, baby doll, we we do a Batman podcast. Of course, I read the Batman. I'm not going to mention it on Caves, but I can talk about it here. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> I mean, we're in the middle of this murder mystery thing. I you know, but this I. I 
actually enjoyed that. I don't know how you felt about the art, but I felt like that was a breath of fresh air for me. I did like the, <laughs> the art. art in this book. I was just about to mention, yeah, I do like the art in this. Also, shout out to March of the Penguin. I love Penguin. I hope they really make him like a force to be reckoned with. I, like that's one thing that I really, again, about the show Gotham, they kind of got right. Penguin and Riddler. <laughs> time It's their time to shine. Screw the Scarecrow. Screw Joker. <laughs> Even forget about Two Face for a while, even though we're in the middle of the long Halloween Renaissance. <laughs> Come on, Phil, say Gotham. Say it. No. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> so how do you feel? But like a rocket launcher, we have a rocket launcher. How could I not love this issue? Ho, ho, ho. Yeah. So, <laughs> so what do you? So so what do you think about this worst guy? I mean, he's basically like the kingpin. It's basically like, is this guy a metahuman? I mean, he's just like. Look at the size of hands. Like, he can put his whole hand around Batman's head. I don't care about that. What I care about is Huntress and Lady Clayface getting together. Hashtag fight me. I I, I feel vibes. Oh, my. (laughs) I feel vibes. Is it just me? Come on, guys. Don't leave me hanging. I mean, think about it. Seriously. I mean, wouldn't a a Clayface, you know, a person who can alter their shape be kind of gender fluid? Exactly. So what do you think about, I mean, they're... What do you think about Huntress? They, uh... Oh, well, that I will say the characterization for Huntress needs just a little bit of work. Mm. Just a little bit. I don't think it's bad at all, but I I, I definitely feel like as this book goes on, if they're going to focus on that, they what? could do. They could bring Huntress back and make her a force to be reckoned with. I, I really want a Huntress to have her own book again. Yes. Honestly. Yes. So I, feel, I don't know. I feel like with this book, they're, they're, they're kind of like toying with that idea. They're trying to see if people like huntress and what direction to go in i mean and exactly i mean i don't know how long the team's staying on uh detective here but uh yeah the team that did this issue i'd love to see them do a huntress uh, book especially yeah shout out to megan uh fitz martin and uh who is it Mer- uh Mariko tamaki yeah yeah i and then the artwork i really enjoyed uh victor bognovic and mm-hmm. uh carl Mozart. I, I like this team a lot. It's, it was like a breath of fresh yeah. air, honestly. Seriously, I mean, think about it. I mean, Huntress, you know, it's it's tangentially a Batman book, so you know, and we're like, I was like, oh, Clayface, oh, Lady Clayface, okay. <laughs> we haven't done enough Lady Clayface for sure. <laughs> there you go. I mean, yeah, do a Huntress, you know, have Lady Clayface in there, and again, female writer. I mean, I think you know, it, it does make a difference for better or for worse sometimes, but it does make a difference. In this case, it's definitely better because i mean i don't know why we don't have a batwoman book with that with the show on the air but it's like you know paint you know do a huntress book well there. we did have a batwoman book and it didn't do well i know just like we had a supergirl book with the tv show on the air and it didn't do well it it's a thing but it's just like yeah promote you know do a huntress book be like hey it's like you know it's again it's like huntress now huntress could team up with batwoman occasionally yeah, you know all true. the ladies and uh, connected to the bat family true I, get a little I, barbara Exactly, you know, just be like, yeah, I know she bring like a little birds of prey every now and then, you know, because they always like to paint everything with the Batman brush. Be like, it's female Batman, but she ain't, but she's willing to like really f guys. And she's up. not related to him. <laughs> exactly, you know, you know, she'll tell him to f off. You know, she ain't one of the kids. Yeah. Although I would really love to bring back like that's the only thing that I feel like we didn't do with Future State. It's like, come on, we really should have been like. Because we were going towards Bruce and Selena being together, being in it for the long haul, it would have only made sense for them to have a kid and for that kid to be the future Batwoman, but she takes on the moniker of Huntress. I'm just saying, it was right there and they missed it. They missed it by a mile. Oh my god, did you see that? I mean, yeah, they're kind of doing like a future Huntress version in the Batman Catwoman book, but now I guess that's delayed until like September or something. Either August or September. Uh, I Tom. take it the early test testing didn't go well. Oh, Tom King. <laughs> it's like they got four or five. Wait, issues. is Tom King the new new Kevin Smith? I don't know, because he got four or five issues out. Then it's like, oh, yeah, it's it's uh, delayed till the fall. It's like, what? Wasn't that book huh? delayed to begin with? Like, before you should have been out? It's like... <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, sorry. And, well, Tom, well, he has way too much on his plate. They've been putting a lot on his shoulders, for better or for worse. So, and do you think you I'm, know maybe maybe he maybe they need to take something off his plate? And not to be too insulting, but after Heroes in Crisis, are they like double checking his work before he turns it in? <laughs> there definitely was no oversight with that book. I will agree. With That's you what I'm saying. That now, is there, I'm, I'm wondering if there's double oversight now. <laughs> They're like, we're going to have to change a few things. You did we're going to have to have you come in on Saturday. You did, 
<laughs> you did what? You did what? The Wally West? Oh, uh, you better hire some bodyguards, kid. Indeed, sir. Indeed. Especially if you travel to Florida. <laughs> oh my God! What are you saying, chat? But I, I like Detective, but yeah, I if, you know it's not gonna last. It's, it's just a it's a minor like detour, and we're gonna be back to the same old, same old. But I'm gonna enjoy this part while it lasts because it has so much potential. I'm like kind of here for the March of the Penguin arc. I I like it. I know. I mean, again, it's like the I mean the Batman book is good is good too, but it's like you know they're doing a lot of you know future you know run up the future state stuff and it, it go over and like you got harley you got a, so much stuff going on the bat book here it's just like basically batman huntress you know every so often he makes a call to oracle but it's you know yeah, it's a lot more streamlined yeah well, I, I hate that the the batman book is so like clogged down and like the minutia of everything but it, it kind of used to be the other way around honestly yeah. <laughs> but again too it's like you know so many people you know i'm sure batman's selling outselling this book by a wide margin and it's because detective i don't care what era detective always gets overlooked and it's like right now if you're reading it's weird it's like they're literally named after detective and it's like it's the same character you know it might be a different team but it's the same character kids i i promise you probably if you like the i've always liked detective more than the main bat book just that's just generally speaking how it goes oh yeah because they can do uh, and now that we have like urban legends and all that stuff as well like i really don't i could care less about the main bat batman book Oh my god! I uh, we still we I swear this is like a brainstorming session. I just like got hit with a arc of from Detective from like around the the time of this JLA issue, like like early two thousands. Like oh, I want to put that on the list. Phil, you control the list. Put it on the I list. I know, I know. I just I'm always just like she's probably like oh he's changing again. No, no, I don't care. Like I'd rather you. I'd rather us uh, see. That's kind of what happened with the Deadpool stuff. I'd rather us talk, jump around and talk about stuff that we're passionate about than just like going through the motions. So that's right. <laughs> whatever comes to your beautiful brain, go ahead and put it on the list. Want to keep our marriage fresh? I know. <laughs> uh. Uh, I mean Harley Quinn. I actually, uh, oh, I actually did put pick up uh, Batman Superman on Comicsology last night because Tyler recommended. It. He's right; it's really good. So shout out to Batman Superman nineteen. I probably go back and read like I'll get from issue fifteen up. Oh yeah, it's, those first couple are good because it's like yeah, they show like the two separate Batman and Superman worlds, and it's like those like you know like that nineteen thirty nine world. So yeah, yeah. I, I, I like those vibes. It's it's just such a shame that the main books don't have that vibe. Like the main like Batman. Batman and, and um, action is just a mess. Action is a mess. Well, again, <laughs> it's like, you know, they're doing the whole John Ken thing and, you know, and Superman's going to be in the authority. So, yeah, that's. What... Yeah. But, Superman, yeah, no. Bo- my Superman does not wear gloves. He is not a Mario brother. Oh, hell. I know. I, I know. It's like, why does Superman need gloves? Especially now. The whole world knows who he is. He can't. He really doesn't hurt his hands a lot. It's like, come on. He's a fancy man. It's fine. I guess. But yeah, books like Batman, Superman. Superman and Lois get a divorce confirmed. <laughs> oh my. I love you, Bruce. What? Bye. Selena will put a kryptonite bullet in him like Bloodsport. Just saying. <laughs> oh, She's like my, not going to have that. Like my claws? They made a kryptonite. <laughs> nice. I'm Alright, all right, I'm calling it now. It might be 10 years from now, but there's going to be a story where Superman... I don't know if he's out of control or what, but he's going to come with Batman. Ah, oh, I'm going to get you before you uh, whip out that kryptonite. And meanwhile, like Catwoman's going to get him from behind with the kryptonite. Be like, oh, I didn't have it. It was get her. him from behind. Hello. <laughs> that would be awesome. I'm I'm stealing that from my fanfic. <laughs> Thank you. But yeah, the books like Batman, Superman, and like Detective Comics, like they can do stuff. I, I think they're afraid to like go too far off the script on like the reg- on the main books. But yeah, books like that, it's like, oh yeah, we can play with it a little more. And uh, tangentially, what's up with Teen Titan Teen Titans Academy Four? What 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 is Teen Titans Academy? Like, I just kind of stumbled across it, and I'm just like, well, basic, what is this? well, basically, you know, like. Nightwing, Starfire, Cyborg, Graven, Beast Boy basically opened this account. Basically opened the Avengers. So it's X Men? Or Avengers Academy. Yeah. I mean, they basically open it up and they're training, you know, a bunch of young kids at the, at the Roy Harper Academy. Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to pick that up. And Dawn is in there. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, the big, there's a big mystery going through because there's a new Red X and it's like, who is Red X? Uh, Teen Titans did it better? <laughs> <laughs> 
TV, that was a great arc in that TV show. Well, that's not even mentioned. They're like, oh, you know, Nightwing used to be Red X, and there was another Red X, but now there's a new Red X. It's like, who is it? Third time's definitely not the charm, but I okay. don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, haven't heard good things about it either, so I'm just like, if, I'm tentative about it. Know, I'll wait for the trade. I was going to say, I know Kristen and I were giving it a chance because, you know, Nightwing showed up in the first few, but like, hey, issue four, like, he doesn't even show up. I was like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about this, Kristen. <laughs> Red X is just definitely put through the last risk. <laughs> <laughs> but Probably. yeah, no, I think it is a great time to be a Batman fan because you have so many books and most of the books are pretty good and give you a different perspective. Oh, yeah. Like an actual different perspective, not just dark, dark metal nights yeah. or whatever, or the Batman who laughs. Like, I'm so sick of the Batman who laughs. I don't know what to do with myself. And you still like that Future State Gotham book? Because I got the second I one. I do, mm-hmm. actually. I was I was real tentative because it's Future State, aka Five G re, uh, rejudged, but yeah, it's it's pretty good. It's different because it's Jason. It's black and black and white kids. Well, I, I like Jason. Like I like modern Jason. Mm. When he came back from the de- dead, and he became Red Hood and has all that like trauma and those issues, especially with what the Three Joker story kind of did. As much as like I hate the other stuff that it did for uh, Barbara and Bruce, I kind of like what it did for Jason. Mm-hmm. So, all right. Uh, any other? Is there any other? I don't think so. I don't think this week there was. Uh, oh, I did read Harley. Was it Harley Quinn number number it? four? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm interested that uh, you know it's basically her versus Hugo Strange. So you know, it's the battle of the mental health doctor versus doctor. Yeah, mm-hmm. which she doesn't bring up enough. Honestly, yeah. I really feel like we should dive back into that a little bit. I would love to have a Harley prequel book. If I'm just going to be honest. That, I like. I would. I want to know what her, what she was like before the Joker, because she was always a little nuts, obviously. Oh, Chad, we definitely agree a thousand percent. Best Hood is with his own Trinity. Fight me. You ain't got. I ain't gonna fight you, nerd. Because I agree. The Dark Trinity, um, him, him, Artemis, and Bizarro. Oh yeah, they no really blew that book to smithereens, though, didn't they? What's like Red Hood and the Outlaws? It, like, well, it's like the, once they took the other two out, and then like. Yeah. They were gone for months, bro. And I'm like, I don't care. They were gone for like, you know, from like 25 to 50 almost. It's like, okay, really? Yeah, that that was a mistake. And yeah. I, I hope they reboot that book because I, I, and they were the, the Dark Trinity was better than the Trinity at the time. The Trinity is an absolute mess together right now. Do you think that was like an editor's note or something? They're like, oh, yeah, hey, let's try a Jason Todd solo book. See if the kids like that. Mm, probably, actually. It's a bad book. <laughs> Jason's not wrong. I'll just I'll put it to you that way. Jason's not wrong. He has reasons to be the way that he is. And oh, I got a team up book for you. What would you think of Red Hood and Huntress? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> that might be. That might have to be a black book. That might have to be a black title. <laughs> oh, black label. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a bunch. Honestly, if it's a black label, I would be here for it because I want it to be ultra violent. I was gonna say just a bunch. Ultra violent. I was gonna say just a bunch. Of- I want to see. I want to see crossbows through the neck. <laughs> I want to see bullets to the back of the head, execution style. Bunch of bunch of violence and sex. I. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put that out into the ether on Twitter. I'm like, you know, what we need. <laughs> we need a black label that's ultra violent. <laughs> I mean, remember For more details. See the Batman podcast. Remember three jokers. Yes, Jace, Jason Barbara is not for you. Huntress, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe. I gotta think this through. Maybe two redheads. It don't work, brother. It don't work. Everybody knows that. Huntress ain't a redhead. <laughs> See, it works. No, exactly. Get a nice Ghostmaker and Mooney versus Batman and Daredevil. Batman and Daredevil will freaking clean the clean their clocks, please. So, <laughs> so we're taking one Marvel and DC character versus one Marvel and DC. Uh, Batman and Daredevil, they're gonna clean their clocks. A hashtag fight me. Sorry, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stick up for Moon Knight when what I don't have any F? skin in the game. But hey. that's like double. Hey, but Ray, <laughs> that's double skin. Ray might agree with us. I love Batman. <laughs> Poor Ray. <laughs> hey, he's getting a quantum zone this month. So you know what? He's fine. He's getting a Moon Knight show, and I still don't have a, li- a real live action Batman show that's modern. 
<laughs> and a and a Moon Knight book in about a month. Oh yeah, I'm actually really excited for that book. Yeah, me I don't too. I don't know how the rest of the Moonies feel, but I thought that team was a a, a nice pitch. I'm <laughs> I'm definitely down. Well, if you're getting all twenty two covers. <laughs> no, I'm not Ray. Oh. I'm gonna get three. Oh my god, we look. Uh, Will was looking that up. I think it was in the last episode of uh, Sector Two Eight One Four, the Green Lantern podcast. Uh, yeah, there. I forget where he was looking, but there is like stores, you know, selling bundles of like a couple of the covers, and he's like, Yeah, what? like how they did with Action. The one was uh, like, yeah, the 1, one, was, yeah, the one was like, you know, ten covers for what did he say? Was it like a hundred and forty five or something? I'm like, oh, so they're giving you a discount on cover price? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm only getting three, so. Only three, okay. I wonder how many Ray's getting. He's getting all of them. It's going to be his mission, mark my words. Oh my god, he's going to wallpaper that wall behind him where he podcasts. <laughs> if he doesn't do that, I don't even know what we're doing anymore. <laughs> I might ha- we might have to take Green Moon Knight podcast away from him. It's, like, it's just an A Moon Knight podcast. <laughs> Look how big it is. <laughs> but yeah, on that note. I think we should give them the homework and go. All right. Because we have a spider, ultimate spider cast to do. Oh, yes. We have some black Let's do it. All right. Let me pull up schedules here. You know. Mm, Batman. Batman. All right. So here we go, kids. So next time. Oh, yes. Remember, more team ups. This time we're covering two books, Batman Spawn and Spawn Batman. Get ready for McFarlane Nightmare Fuel. <laughs> Frank Miller. <laughs> mm. Same two characters, two completely different tales. And then in two weeks, yes, Detective Comics 601 through 603, Batman and Etrigan. Yes. Can we get some rhyming in here, kids? <laughs> And then in three weeks, Batman 544 through 546, more Batman and Etrigan. Yeah. Is that because Titans is back on? <laughs> Why is he in that? I don't know. Is he? I thought that he was in the first season. Or did they just allude to it? You mean Trigon? Oh, is that who that was? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I only made it through the first three episodes. Trigon. <laughs> did you see they're putting the first uh, season of uh, Titans on uh, T- uh, is it TNT now? Shut the front. Well, that's where it was supposed to be. So, for those that know, Blackbird is actually where Titans, they fixed it. So, yeah. Right, so right Blackbird be- was awful. <laughs> so, right before season three starts, yeah, on HBO Max. Yeah, that's season- crazy. Oh, man. They're going to have what, to edit. Does show. Warner's own TNT? Is that part? I, I don't know. Does Warner's own TBS? Because TBS and TNT are sister stations. I don't know, but I don't yeah, know. I TV landscape's too confusing. But, I don't know. But yeah, season one's coming soon. The yeah, I think it's that's so random. Is it TNT? I guess they need it more than Supernatural. Oh um. my! <laughs> <laughs> They're got to edit some of that, you know, like fork Batman. You know, come on. Do they though? Oh, I can't drop the if they put it on TNT. at ten o'clock. I don't think they have to. Yeah, but I don't know if they're putting it on at ten o'clock. No. They need something to fill out that late night slot. <laughs> I still don't think on TNT they're dropping F bombs at ten o'clock though. I mean they could, but I think, you know, a lot of I know they drop S bombs at ten o'clock. Oh yeah. I oh yeah, I just watched the last episode of Conan. Yeah, he's he dropped some S bombs. T V landscape is changing so rapidly, I don't want to keep up. Andy Andy smoked some uh marijuana with uh Seth Rogan. Well, they're in California, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Recreation's legal now. Put on live T V should be more careful about what your children are watching. TV shouldn't raise your children. True. <laughs> and your, most kids should be in bed by then anyway. Summer or not, children need their rest. TV should not be raising your children. It, we're doing me now? S- says Generation X. <laughs> TV raised them for sure. I'm that kind of freak. All right. You'll summon him. I know. Draw that pentagram. All right. Are we done? <laughs> Yep, let's do it. All right, kids. So, yeah, next time, send us your thoughts on the uh, Batman Spawn and Spawn Batman crossovers. Uh, email us, capesandlunatics at gmail.com, or call the voicemail, 614-382-2737. That's 614-38-CAPES. And remember to follow... <laughs> Are you muttering at this in under your breath? She's like, you didn't even write the script. You're just like... Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Check, check. All right. Remember to follow We Are the Night, the Batman Dang. podcast. 
the, the little page that uh, Facebook could not destroy. Yes, find it on Facebook, <laughs> Twitter. Uh, find links to all of our various social medias for all the shows. Links to this YouTube. Yes. See see Chad's comments live on the screen. Uh, <laughs> chat, chat. Power chat, chat, chat. Uh, links to the Patreon. More and more stuff coming there. Oh, especially for July. Uncensored Wade's World Annual. And Spider-Man vs. the Effin' Juggernaut. Effin' Juggernaut! But that will be uncensored. We're gonna uncensor that F. <laughs> what? Thank you, Chad. That means a lot. Did he just compliment himself? <laughs> I need to see both hands, sir. <laughs> uh, so yes, links to the Patreon. Links to merch. Stay hydrated. Especially it's going to be 87 here today. Links to merch all in one place. That's linked. It was 87 when I woke up, Phil. You're Shut in up. Florida. And it's all humidity. <laughs> I know. Oh, it's going to be humid here. It's supposed to be 90 tomorrow. Shut up and just lay there. Anyway, finally. <laughs> links to everything all in one place. That's linktree, L I N K T R dot E E slash Capes and Lunatics. And please remember to support all things Southgate Media Group. Go to Southgate Media Group dot com. And also check out the Southgate Media Group Patreon. Uh, a bunch of free content there from everyone on the network. Uh, a bunch of paid content. So much. <laughs> You'll get so much right there. I get so much right. Uh, so go, please go subscribe to the Southgate Media Group Patreon. Uh, then go pick up Pod Life, the book, now in digital and paperback, audio version supposedly coming soon. Uh, but you can buy that on Amazon. And when you do buy that or anything on Amazon, be like Lil Hellfire and use the link for Southgate Media Group right down there in the show notes. Help us support this show, the network, and that plastic like man himself, Rob Master Doom Southgate. Make it rain, so says Master Do. Come on, Phil, say Gotham. Go back and look at my history. Mark my words. Little Hellfire. Uh, if you nerds want to hang out with me on the interwebs and tell me how much you love Red Hood and the Dark Trinity, find me on Twitter at Little Hellfire, on Instagram at Little Hellfire69, and of course, making comments all over TikTok at Little Hellfire69. Smash it! Some men just want to watch the world burn. Oh! (laughs) Fashion yourself. Oh, what a waste of butter. (laughs) Uh. Yeah, we really need it. We really need a Patreon. Anyway. uh. (laughs) See, kids? See how how out of control we are here? Just imagine what the Patreon's like. But you don't have to imagine. Go subscribe. You're a bad influence, Chad. <laughs> We're the bad influence. Who are we kidding? That's true. Don't bring us home to mother. Oh my lord. I, I, I just love you sit there. You look all that. You're trying to look all nice and innocent. But you know, you, how, many, how many men's souls have you snatched? None of your business. That's between me and Mephisto. Ha <laughs> ha. <gasps> Little Hellfire Mephisto. Theory confirmed. Alright, kids. Join us next time. Batman spawn, spawn Batman. So join us. Same bat time. Same, same bat channel. We are the night. The Batman Podcast. <laughs> Keep it plastic. We're vengeance, too. <laughs> Hi, I'm one of the high priests of Conchu Ray, and I have the sacred privilege of providing you, the loony listener, with a podcast honoring Marvel's very own Moon Knight. So join me and a host of others at Into the Night, a Moon Knight podcast. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, or support the show by becoming a Patreon member. Into the Night, a Moon Knight podcast. It's time to get your Conchu on.